At the moment, I'm giving away a full face of makeup. If you'd like to see how to enter this giveaway, please stay tuned till the end of the video for details. I'm starting off with my regular Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and I'm taking this all over my face and then I'm going on to fill in my brows with my usual products which is my MAC Concrete Eyeshadow and then my Black Gel Liner. Only this time I'm not giving them the exact usual shape that I always do. Instead they're going to be a little bit thinner, more arched, more elongated and slightly more precise towards the front. So I'm not really going to fade them in, they're going to be quite blocky and drawn on. And then for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going in with my NARS Pro Prime just to grab onto this eyeshadow. No matter if it's cream or powder, it works wonders for both. Next, on the center of my lid, I'm going to apply my Chilled on Ice Paint Pot, which is this lovely golden shimmery color. And this is just going to make the golden eyeshadow that I'm putting on top really pop. So that golden eyeshadow comes from my NYX Golden Hour palette. It's really gorgeous, really potent. And then for my Rustic Antique, palette I'm going in and grabbing the shimmery burgundy which I'm taking on the outer third of my eye and the matte burgundy which is this rusty color on the warmer side rather than the cooler side and I'm taking this on the crease and all the way into the socket line and of course I'm blending it out as much as possible to intensify the darkness and add way more definition in the socket line and the outer corner, I'm going in with some of my black gel liner, which I'm fading out as quickly as possible right before it dries, and I'm blending over it with the same burgundy eyeshadow, and again with a bare brush, just to get it as smooth as possible. Then it's time for some very dramatic liner, a very long wing, and tight lining top and bottom lash line, and also creating a little point in the inner corner just a little flick to match the one that we have on the outside corner to elongate the eyes. So I'm also blending out the bottom lash line and I'm intensifying that blending with some black eyeshadow, which is my Carbon by MAC. So this is going to make it even smokier. Taking this exactly where I took the black gel liner before, which means the outer third of the eye and the socket line, just to make it even darker. And I'm diffusing it with some orange eyeshadow. I'm also taking it on the lower lash line and I'm further smoking it out with some purple mixed in with red from my Brights Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette by NYX. Next, I'm going in with a little coat of mascara just to coat top and bottom lashes. Of course, I'm applying false lashes on the top. These are going to be quite dramatic. They're also by NYX. Forgive me for not looking straight at the camera, but I think I was distracted because the phone was ringing at the time. So these are the lashes that I'm putting on there. And then I'm going straight in with my concealer, which is my Collection Lasting Perfection. And I'm taking this as a concealer and a highlighter anywhere I need to bring some light to the face. That means underneath the brow, right on the brow bone, so right on the arch, on the center of the nose, on the cupid's bow, on the chin. If you wanted to make your face slightly more angular, you could also take it on your jaw bones. I'm fading all of this and blending it into the skin with my foundation brush. And I'm really taking my time to make it all smooth and seamless just because I need to clean up as much as I can before we move on to bronzer. So the bronzer in question is my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. I've had this for absolutely years and I love it. I'm taking it very liberally almost on the entirety of my face. So mainly the tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, the neck, and next I'm going in with the lightest champagne color in my Rustic Antique palette. This is an eyeshadow, but I'm using it as highlighter on the high points of my face, which means the top of the cheekbone, the bridge of the nose, pretty similar placement to my bronzer, but much more controlled application on the cupid's bow, of course, and right underneath the arch of the brow. And then we're ready to move on to our contouring. So I'm picking the darkest color in my Highlight and Contour Pro palette by NYX, and I'm taking this on my cheeks, sort of underneath my cheekbones, just to 
give them a little bit more structure and anywhere else I want to contour like the hairline, bottom of the lips, cupid's bow and so on. Next I'm powdering everything into place with my translucent powder and I'm ready to shape my lips with my MAC Brick lip pencil which is just a true red. I'm taking this not just all over the lip but also outside of it so I'm overlining at the same time as I love to do and it gives much more of a dramatic effect. Obviously you can go for whatever shape you like on your own lips. The way I like to do them is just so they balance out the eyes slightly which are full on as well. I'm cleaning around the edges of my lips with some concealer just to make them appear much more neat and I'm going onto the center of them with my orange lip gloss by NYX which is just amazing. Then time for a little bit of blush. It is my Melba by MAC which is a peach tone. I'm applying this right on the very apples of my cheeks, just blending it softly into the bronzer and all the contours so everything is seamless. And there you have the finished Indian Bridal inspired look. Do let me know whether you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment and follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So I reached my 30,000 subscriber mark and I couldn't thank you guys enough. I chose to put together 11 makeup and hair items to thank you with this international giveaway. So what that comprises is a palette by NYX which is full of lovely autumn colors, two off black eye pencils, two off white eye pencils just to intensify that waterline in different ways, also a khaki golden liquid waterproof eyeliner, a face powder if it's too dark for you you could use it for contour and illuminating blush in this fun orangey color. You could even apply this as a highlighter if you've got a deeper complexion, a lip primer and finally a copper metallic lip cream which is just lush. And as a fun touch I thought I would throw away a mint colored hairspray which washes off in the shower. So the giveaway is open internationally and it closes on midnight on the 25th of August. It is running on my Facebook page so in order to be eligible to win these items you have to be a subscriber of my channel, like my Facebook page and also post a comment on this picture which will be pinned at the top of my page saying what your favorite makeup look is and also feel free to tag your friends so you can up your odds or give them a chance to win as well. If you've got any additional questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and good luck!